Welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you my OP10 level 80 Salvador build. Um, this build can destroy any of the content at any level in the game. And I'll be going over what skills to put your points into and all of my gear that I recommend. It's pretty much the best gear in the game. There's maybe 10 items out of my inventory and stash that that's pretty much on par or a little bit worse than the guns and gear that I have and let's jump into it so this is the skill tree right here so it's predominantly just the left and middle tree and the right tree has a couple of points into just to proc the two skills while using certain class mods so we have lock and loaded which increases your fire rate by 25% quick draw which increases your weapon swap speed by 35% and gives you critical hit damage by 10% then we have I'm your huckleberry which increases your gun damage and reload speed with pistols by 15% each then we have Divergent Likeness, which increases your gun damage while wielding the same type of gun, like two pistols. Or it gives you bonus accuracy if they're two different weapons, like a rocket launcher and a sniper, while gun zerking. Then we have Money Shot, which is pretty much the best skill in the game, or at least for Salvador. Um... This increases your damage by 880% on your last shot. You can do like money shot chains and stuff. And then we have down not out, which uh, you can gun zerk while in fight for your life mode. And lay to waste, which is a kill skill, which increases your fire rate by 40% and critical hit damage by 25%. Then we have Keep Up Piping Hot, which increases your gun damage, melee damage, and grenade damage while gun zerking is in the process of the uh, cooldown. And then No Kill Like Overkill, which gives you bonus damage. So that's the left tree. The only other skill I'd put points into would be All I Need Is One, which increases your gun damage after you've swapped your weapons on your next shot. Then let's jump over to the middle tree. We have Inconceivable, which gives you a 50% chance of not consuming the ammo you just shot, and you get a higher chance the lower your health and shields are. Filled to the broom increases your magazine size and ammo carry capacity. Last longer increases your gun zerking duration by 15 seconds. All in the reflexes it increases your reload speed and melee damage. I'm ready already increases uh, your cooldown rate of gun zerking. And steady as she goes uh, gives you recoil reduction by 80% and chance to improve accuracy by 30%. Then we have double your fun. You can throw two grenades instead of one while gun zerking. And Yippie Kaye, which gives you three seconds per kill on the gun zerking. Get some gives you a three second cooldown on your um, skill every time you shoot an enemy. And while gun zerking, um, while pulling the trigger and holding the trigger for longer, your fire rate increases and your reload speed increases as well. That's the middle tree. The right tree we have hard to kill, which increases your max health and regeneration of health. And insight, which increases your movement speed and reload speed after you've taken damage. Both of these can be buffed with a class mod, so it gives you a plus six on each of them. And for the gear, I have a Pimpernel, Slag, and a Ahab. You can do a damage glitch um, transfer, which transfers the damage of this rocket launcher to the sniper. And you can be pretty much beat any boss in the game with it. Um, and then we have a grog nozzle for the self-healing and slag. And a double penetrating unkept herald. For the shield, I use a B shield, which increases your damage. 
a true neutral monk which increases your magazine size and gives you money shot plus six a slag crossfire which i would recommend a level 31 as it won't damage you this is for slagging and a explosive damage relic which helps for the unkept herald and the pimperhab glitch because this does explosive damage and then the assault rifles i have a peak opener and a boss becker for the pistols i have a logan's gun for regenerating rocket ammo uh, you pretty much put on a sham shield and shoot the ground with a low level logan's gun and it gives you um rocket ammo i have the lady fists all uh all elements as this will increase your critical hit damage by 800 percent on your other gun so if you put this in your off hand pretty much whatever gun you put in this other hand will get the uh 800 critical hit damage on um only salvador then for the uh rocket launchers we have the north fleets and two barter booms for um rocket jumping shotguns we have a flacker which you can do a damage glitch with this as well and a orphans maker then for the snipers we have liudas um the pimpernel as well then the items we have bone to the ancients all three elements also gives you cooldown rate a sheriff's badge which increases uh, pistol damage and fire rate and a deputy badge which increases shotgun damage and shotgun reload speed for the class mods we have a legendary berserker titan gunzerker and hoarder these are the only four legendary class mods you can get and the only other class mod i have is a chaotic evil monk class mod which is, increases your critical hit damage and fire rate and gives you money shot. There is one more uh, monk class mod that you can get as well. I think it's called the good evil monk class mod and a uh, raider um, class mod as well, which um, decreases your shield capacity or something and gives you movement speed. And that's it for the class mods. The grenade mods, we have fastball, all elements, quasar, um, chain lightning, which is for self-healing while wielding the grog nozzle, and a magic missile, which I'd recommend a level 30 or 51 so it doesn't damage you. The shields, we have a evolution antagonist, the sham, another bee, and a rough rider. And that's everything in my inventory. In the stash, I have the practical interfaces, all three elements, uh, the lead storm, all three elements, practical butcher, all three elements, the conference call, I have all four elements, and then the sincero, which I use on the pyro peat fight and for killing the chief in the veracitus fight the hydra is used for the um, hyperius fight while using the um, antagonist shield and a hive and sandhog all three elements and a easy mode so yeah this is pretty much the best gear in the game can't really get that much better there's maybe 10 items like i said that are pretty much on par or close to in the op 10 levels and yeah show you the skill tree again and hope you found this video good and please like and subscribe if you want more videos like this thank you very much